What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Biomune, episode number eight with me, Gamer Noob. Last time around, we had a little bit of a freeze, but this time around, I fixed it. We're just right after that cutscene. And there are a lot of guys. You just want to take one of those for me? Did everybody attack each other. How about that? And smash. And let's go. Let's start taking some fools out, shall we? Apparently, I've leveled up again. Don't mind if I do. These guys are should not be that difficult, honestly, just because we have done a lot of side missions and leveled up a little bit. So, like, as you can see, we have been hit, but we aren't taking much damage because of our passive region as well. It's really nice. Get that, take him out. I was like, there were more. Where'd he go? What are you doing over here, bud? Suck if I died that way. Fire starter? Okay. That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light the fire. Thought I wasn't supposed to do too much collateral damage. And now I'm burning down their it homes. Brighter than the light. Uh-huh. Seems a little fishy. What's up, guys? Been around, and now we just activated. These guys are a higher level than the other guys. I can see everything going on. I don't know if you guys can, but I definitely could. Don't ask again. Excuse me. Okay, we're taking too much damage now. Y'all gotta stop. I mean, we're not even taking that much, but it could add up. Man, this region for in combat is like so good. So absolutely good. You know, I'm actually, you can tell I'm having a lot of fun with Biomutant because I'm actually recording this for next week's set of videos. I do videos on my on my uh like my little thing that i track when i'm doing the videos on like one week at a time Look at those muscles. and i'm already done this week's videos but now or last week's videos at this point but now i'm doing next week's videos yeah there okay if a story is about you careful okay now that's loot. Up. I'm going, I'm going. What this? That's a pyro sizzler right there. That's a pyro sizzler right there. Okay. Sh sure. Get to work on it. Make it frizzle. We'll just make it frizzle, as the narrator says. Nice superhero landing, man. All right, let me in. Where's your defense by the gate? Did you use them all at the front? I doubt it. The battering bunker looks like a great way to get through the gate. The battering bunker. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. Bonkers. That's bonkers. My guy's just cheering. Yeah, you're doing all the work. Good job. You're so good at this. Thanks. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, fear. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. 
I'm gonna try to persuade him. He's not sure if you're likable enough to just give up the fort without a fight. Yeah, let's fight then. Shoot that at you real quick. Okay, you hit kind of hard. Quick. Okay, definitely block that. That's fine. Just take that health back if you don't mind. Oh, I was dodging. I was dodging. Alright, I guess we're taking this guy out first. That's fine. Can I focus on another one, please? Thank you. Where you at, bud? Yeah, yeah, I see you. Whoo, no thank you. This friend, you uh, unfortunately ran into my super wong fu. <laughs> we look so dumb in our outfit. I love it. Tribe Fort conquered. Yes, it was. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. Yeah, let's let him join. He was strong. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad. Never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Oh my. I think he's having us conquer the world, my dude. He's being sneaky about it. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Your Sifu is pleased. You're one step closer to uniting the tribes. <coughs> it's a pity you needed to use force to get the point across. But he's still concerned about the fate of the world. You can't lose this war. If you get the ending wrong, the effort it took to get there was in vain. A proper ending, however, provides closure. He says you've grown so much stronger than when you first met. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. The fate of the world depends on the triumph of good. The Tree of Life still stands, and it's up to you to make sure it does so to the end. Okay. That ended really awkwardly. We did it! Yay! Claim the tribe weapon. Absolutely. I think it's going to be the bow staff. It's Is the it? Jagni staff. Yeah, the Jagni staff. Nice. This might be a two-handed bash weapon, dudes. This might be a good one. This is all about you. Whether you succeed or fail, it's on you. I gotta check out that new Wong Fu, man. I gotta actually look at the, um... Gear, main hand. Does a lot less damage. A lot less damage. 
Yeah, I think we'll we'll keep our. I mean, I guess we could like inspect it. Or like, I guess we could. Yeah, no, we can't actually do anything like that with that. Um, gear. Let's check out our gear real quick. Let's equip our new gear. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Equip that up. Get more armor and more add-ons. Myriad pants are actually providing a lot of our biohazard. What would our biohazard go to if we did that? Ooh, really low, actually. Wow. I like the, I don't like those pants anyway. I'm not gonna wear those. They look very odd. Right. It's weird that this area isn't green, because like it's the whereabouts is like right in the middle. That's okay. Um, let's go visit. Gizmo. I think that'll be a good idea. I think that will be a fantastic idea. So we can make our way all the way out of here. Long walk. It's a pretty fort we claimed. They got a nice waterfall and everything. Yeah, that's right. This is ours now. I did this. This is mine. Hello. Hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. Don't want to deal with all of you. Um, nope. Let's go ahead and call our mount. Head in that direction, shall we? It's, a, it's an okay distance away. Nice jump. But we'll get there. <clears throat> we will get there. Trying to steer and type at the same time, guys. One second. Uh, the lady asked what was for dinner, and so I asked her. We're gonna. I'm gonna cook one of the one of the frozen meals we got up in the in there, and I asked her if there was any preference she had before I did so. I think I'm gonna make the chicken pot stickers that we have. Mmm, chicken pot stickers. I've not had them before, but she said they were good, and so I trust You made her. it to the quarrel spot. You've got to hate what the fight is done. Blech. Nope, 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 nope. That was painful. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Oh, I need to dodge. Let's activate that, please, please, thank you. What's happening? Oh, I'm being picked up, that's what's happening. Oh, he canceled my Super Wong Fu! No! Some shenanigans, get out of there! These things are terrifying. Okay, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it, but it. it use two of those real quick. Come at me, bro. Can I actually go now? Yeah. Just, just get, get out of here! Uh... Yeah, that did like a bar. That's terrifying. Dodge at the same time there, if you don't mind. It's becoming terminal. She just <laughs> just did thirteen hundred damage in one single swipe. I thought I was supposed to be the tanky one. How are other people playing on this difficulty and getting hit once, huh? Balance. Oh, they're not? Oh, they're not getting hit at all? Oh, okay, because they're, they're playing ranged characters because they're little pansies? I kind of want to be a little pansy and play a ranged character. <laughs> getting a little, uh, getting a little scared here, man. Wait a minute. I got the right bat equipped. I do. Okay. As long as I got the right thing equipped. 
I was about to be like, have I been using the wrong weapon? No, no, you're using the right weapon. They're just not easy to fight right now. You made it to the quarrel spot. You've got to hate what the fight is. You know what? You know, you know, Matt, now might be a time. Oh, we can't get. Oh, no, not side power. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Biogenetics, yes. Uh huh. To use mud punch. Melee attack to follow. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Just gonna, just gonna take that one. If you don't mind. Assign that to A. It does very little damage. It does damage, just very little. No, thank you. Alright, so we shouldn't be using that, honestly, because not very good against this guy. I don't think I have like any like I'm just gonna throw the boomerang at him for a little while. Yeah I hit, I hit. This shout. Wait for it. Dashing around. He dodge, of course he did. Come on, hit him once. Thank you. Alright, now let's go! I don't think that did a lot, but that's okay. Okay. How dare you. I apparently got grabbed there even though I didn't. That's fine. Missed. It's okay. Just throw some things at him real quick, you know? Alright. We've powered up. I'm just gonna do as much as damage as I can here real quick. And then leave. <laughs> no, please, I'm innocent. Please, no. Ah! You missed, and you got this like 2,000 damage from that one slap, bro. Come on. No way. What the heck? Oh, frick me, dude. You, you're good. This thing is not easy to fight. Start attacking it with this thing, man. Oh, I went back on. Me and this mount are about to fight it together. I have to throw my boomerang from on top of this mount. Let's go. You made it to the quarrel spot. You've got to the Let's go. Come on. You want some? Yeah, you don't want none. I will run this circle around you the entire mo freaking time. I need to get a new ranged weapon, dude. That attack didn't work. Just saying, I could definitely win this way, and also this just proves how stupid ranged is in easy comparison to melee. Because I can do this from the back of my mouth. And like, I am safe AF at the moment. You want some? Oh, nice dash there. Yeah, you, you nearly got me. Wow. Is this how people play this game? Is this how people play this game? This is some BS compared to Melee, alright? You're not even been close yet. Not even been close yet. What's the damage on this in comparison? 
Now you're close. Hiya! That must just be a dodge, not an actual attack. Like, I mean, this is so boring. Ah! Like, sure, I could sit here and do this the whole time. It would take a while. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter how long it takes as long as you win, right? And just keep missing randomly as well. Nope, sorry. Poor guy. I mean, you're trying. That's what counts, right? Gone through one health bar so far. Oh, yep, yeah, this would put me to sleep. This is how people play this game, I'm pretty sure. This has to be how ranged players play. They just walk around in circles and fire constantly. Talk about easy mode, dude. Uh-oh. Like, I've even made mistakes, and this isn't, like... Yeah, it's not cool. <laughs> this is silly, but I'm gonna keep doing it. You know what? I'm gonna keep doing it. This guy's taking me out twice. I don't wanna get taken out again. I may craft a good ranged weapon between next episode and this episode just so I can actually. 3,100 damage. That man just hit me for 3,100. You expect me to fight this thing that can one-shot me from full health with 20% extra armor from my things? Nah, we walking past this mother trucker, dude. Sorry, we walking past. We'll come back for him later, but we walking past for now. Uh-uh. That's some BS right there. That's some BS. Nope. Nope. You made it to the quarrel spot. You See ya. Hate what the fighting's done. 1500 from that, by the way. 1500! Yeah. See you later, bud. I ain't playing with you. Nope. The dude is like my level. Why he hit so hard? I thought it was just because I was playing in melee. Nah, his tongue lashed out 700 feet away. And just smacked me for one shot. 3,100 damage. Blah, blah. Freaking Yoshi over here. Just this blah. box once tailed a chugga chugga. Now it's just off track. Tries oh, you guys are evil? Scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. All right, well, but they should go. have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets. What the heck? Okay, well, that was kind of cool. And smash and dash and do this and ba 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 Go after somebody, thank you. Before this guy smashes me with his big giant hammer that I can see in the background, let's not play that game. Smash, dash, and turn this on. And big smash. And then we just go at some of these guys, I guess. I don't know. Get out of here! You're not allowed to just smash me. Ow, 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 ow. No. Alright, let's go, you. Shit on his head. Smack him around. The Boompa Bomber. You guys really weren't, uh, too difficult to fight. Just 
slash through it. Nice. Not too bad. Might be another guy over there. I can't really tell. Uh. When a story comes to you, pay attention. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, you're dead, right? Okay, you're dead. I was like, I thought he was about to come destroy me, dude. This is your chance. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. How do I get into these buildings? Do they like prime open or something? No? Am I supposed to like explode these things towards them or something? What the heck is this? Uh huh. Yeah, that looks like something you're supposed to blast forward, dude. Huh. I can pry open this door. I can't pry open the other one, though. Hey. hey, now. You're doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing. Just need to go away. Thank you. Uh. I didn't defuse. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I found a way to get in. I found a way to get in. Really took that all the way down to the end in flames. That's not what I expected, but it's what happened. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Yes, Gizmo. we built machines better than I'm on my way. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin makes sense what up gizmo i need to brush up on my wando but i have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard oh and he says he knows you you used to call him gizmo he gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Loopa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive, but never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. The light shines on. Better isn't the word I would use. Right, not better. Best. You're the worst. The worst of being the worst. But just the best. <laughs> would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? <laughs> Supposes that's all any of us can do. <laughs> Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Why, why, not dark? 
grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. Thinks that's more than most are. It's hard to keep to a path like that. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present. And where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. <laughs> he can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. <laughs> That's what he decided to call it after he saw it for the first time. It's big and fluffy. That's accurate enough. If you can see past the blue color, that is. All right. Venture into the dead zone. Oh dear. <clears throat> Do I have to? Okay. There's short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. Oh. This won't be a field trip. It's yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get thing. in there just now. No way. No way. Maybe if I upgrade my resist, I can't upgrade my resistances to it. Can I just like? Does some of my gear just like have resistances to it or something? It says I have 19% at the moment, so there must be some gear that just has resistance to it. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit. It's probably my face guard, right? Yeah, it's my face guard. Alright, we're gonna have to come back to that. Not really ready for that one quite yet. The spent nuclear fuel the toxin all dumped in yeah, the surf had that. detrimental effects Oops. on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. <laughs> yeah, Dead Zone's not quite a uh, possibility yet. Not yet. Maybe one day. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conduct just a few moves left. Make them count. Did it, boss. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Activate the framework. Good. What did I open up? Just a door to down here? Yeah, just a door to down here. Okay. All right, let's see what we want to do. I want to do that for sure. Can I open this? No, I cannot. That's okay. There is something in there that I want to go get, though, because it was highlighting. That has to be the notice board that it's showing. Yep, it is. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here. Big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like. Well, anywhere that they go to. And then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. The chug yard. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what that is. Since we're right here. Makes sense to me. I do kind of want to go. I think it was just the. That's uh, just that for sure. What the little arrow was. I don't know. It's the closest side quest we got right now. That's for sure. Might as well check it out. Gonna be like something crazy down here. That's gonna like smash my face in. 
Look at that, right in the chug yard. Follow the rails and you'll find all sorts of little treasures scattered all over the place. What did I find? Of course <clears throat> not, but they get you closer to wherever you might want to go. Good work finding that track. They can teach you so much about the world. Keep looking for more. What did I find? <laughs> I don't know what I found. I don't know what I found. I'm going to keep leveling up my strength. Keep giving me more strength. I don't know what I found. It just said, you did it! And I was like, but I did nothing. I guess I did, though. Who knows? That's a scary place. We're going to wait to clear that out for sure. All right, let's see. Dip over there, I guess. Sure. We'll just do some side quests for the last few minutes of this episode. Might as well. You could make this a hunter's night. Still never found the superb loot here, by the way, but I'll find it eventually, I'm sure. I don't want to look for it right now, or I would just go find it. It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones love this sort of place. Do they? What the heck's going on here? Oh, you guys want to go? Okay, let's go. I'll tell you right now, it wouldn't be smart. But hey, whatever. You don't have to be smart. I don't even know. Like, what, what tribe are you guys from? That's just not cool. Nope. He tried. Tried to sneak up on my butt. Didn't quite work. You dead? You're dead. Good. Man, we just murder a lot of people all the time. Let's get you out of here, buddy. This one seems to be in good spirits, despite being left here for dead. Papa Zulu works alone has heard that you have a sense of compassion and trusts it's in your nature to help those in need. The Thwin Sila Goyo Owatsu asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conflict you're held accountable for your actions. Bestilka is grateful you chose that. You can't be good without doing good for others. So what do you need from me? Come toward the light. On my way. Slow down. Why would you rush in? When you see what you want, why wait? Well, what about being careful? Puff, poppycock. Full speed ahead. <laughs> light is really reckless. One out of 23 captives rescued. Oh my. So another new side quest. Cool. Don't mind me. Just finding all sorts of new stuff to do. Wee Splat. Wee. Splat. Dude, got a lot of side points, that's for sure. That's We're a myriad tribe outpost. Just saving them. Well, good, because I'm in the myriad tribe, so I think that'll Seems be okay. Like there's a whole world of adventure out there. Is that what it seems like? I see loot. Can I not get this loot? I guess not. Huh, weird. Wonder why. It's in the water. Maybe there's like something like later that I can use in the water to get it. Could be. Lots of notices on the board for things that made sense in the days when the surf was a lot cleaner. Interesting. Oh. In the Let's old the... days, this was a port for boats that went under the surf. They helped clog the surf into goo. They made a... Ah, no! You should be able to find a track here. Just need to keep your eyes open. 
Yeah, I'll go follow and find the track. Subnautica Station. Yeah, I'm not playing Subnautica. Sorry, let's get out of here. Nope. Uh-uh. I cry the whole time. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh, just give me a nice little... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's not feel good. Feel good, feel good, feel good. All right. Now. <laughs> There's the track. Hey, you found the track, even around all this goopy goo. Nothing escapes your googly eye. The surf here looked cleaner when that track was made. It wasn't easy to peer through the surf, but there are iBox tapes on record that shows they knew what kind of mutated creatures their contamination had created. Glad you had the patience to learn more about how the surf got gooed. Yeah, me too, bud, me too. Alright guys, I think I am gonna be ending it so that I can get on my onto my cookings. I'm gonna I'm getting hungry and I want to eat and I know she's gonna want to eat when she gets home. So let's look in here real quick. Then after we look in here, oh, just leads to the other side. Okay, cool. Yep. I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you got anything to say, give it in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button. The bell helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I look creepy. Peace.